Welcome to another series of Task Mathematics. Today, we're going to be looking at the method of plug and chug. Plug and chug is used mostly on multiple choice tests in which you take the answers one at a time and plug them into the equation that was given. You're then going to chug your way through the problem using order of operations where you're looking for the left-hand side and the right-hand side of the equation to be equivalent. When that occurs, you have found your answer. The task test is mostly multiple choice, so plug and chug is an effective strategy to use to solve for your variables. And remember, you can always use plug and chug when you have an equation. And you always know when you have an equation because they always have an equal sign. I'm going to be showing you when you can use plug and chug, what are some of the key words and phrases that clue you in to use plug and chug so that you can pass your task test with a score of 500 or better. Let's begin. So you can use plug and chug if they ask you to solve for a variable. Now your variable could be x. Sometimes they use, let's say, y as a variable, or they could use the letter a or the letter b. Any letter in the alphabet can be used as a variable. So here they want me to solve 6x plus 5 equals to 29. I'm given four choices of what my answer for x could be. It could be 4, 34, 24, or 6. So I'm going to plug in each of these, looking for when the left and the right equate to each other. So the first step is I'm going to write my equation, which is 6x plus 5 equals to 29. I'm going to start with my first choice of A, which is 4. So wherever I see X, I'm going to replace it with 4. Next, I'm going to chug through the problem using order of operations. So I have multiplication and addition. Multiplication would go first. 6 times 4 is 24, plus 5 equals 29. If I add 24 plus 5, I get 29 equals 29. The left-hand side is equivalent to the right-hand side, so I found my answer on the first try. So my answer is 4. X is 4. My students love when their answer is the first one because they don't have to go through all these other choices. Let's take a look at a second example. So here, whenever they ask you to find the value of a variable, you can use plug and chug. So in my problem, it states, if 3 times x minus 2 equals 2x plus 6, the value of x is. So because they ask you to find the value you can use plug and chug. Again, this is an equation. You can use plug and chug. Is it multiple choice? Yes, plug and chug. So we're going to write our equation, which is 3 times and in parentheses x minus 2 equals to 2x plus 6. We're going to plug in 0, which is our first option. So 3 times 0 minus 2 equals to 2 times 0 plus 6. We're going to use PEMDAS or order of operations, parentheses first. So 0 minus 2 is negative 2. And when I multiply 3 times negative 2, I get negative 6. Let's see what we get on the right-hand side. I have multiplication and addition, so I'm going to multiply first. 2 times 0 is 0. 
and when I add 0 to 6, I get 6. Now, negative 6 does not equal positive 6. Therefore, 1 is not my answer. So, 0 is not the value for x. Okay, let's move on to the next answer choice, which is, okay, I'm assuming x may be 5. So I'm going to write my equation again, 3x minus 2 equals to 2x plus 6. I'm going to plug in 5 wherever I see x. And then I'm going to chug with order of operations, parentheses first, 5 minus 2 is 3, only one operation multiplication 3 times 3 is 9 on the right hand side I'm going to multiply first that gives me 10 I'm going to add 6 I get 16 9 is not equivalent to 16 so 5 is not my answer okay let's move on to option 3 where x is 12 so let's plug 12 into our equation so we have 3x minus 2 equals to 2x plus 6. Wherever I see x, I'm going to replace it with 12, such as I'm doing here. I'm then going to do the parentheses first. So that's going to be 3 times 12 minus 2 is 10. 3 times 10 is 30. Over here, 2 times 12 is 24. Then I'm going to add 6. 24 plus 6 is 30. The left-hand side and the right-hand side are the same. So my answer is number 3. X is 12. And I'm finished. Now, you can work really quickly using plug and chug if you know how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide your integers, as well as if you know your order of operations and you can actually evaluate an algebraic expression. Remember, on the task test, you're not going to be given 10 of these problems, either one or two, but as you go along, you will build up your speed with plugging and chugging. I hope this lesson has been helpful. Good luck in your task examination.